we're gonna go to Jamie Weekly upstairs. Okay, so what's one thing that has surprised you since you've been here? You know, I guess the, the, the biggest surprise has just been how excited the kids are about being back. So they do announcements from here? Mm -hmm. Yes. We just film it whenever and then edit it during the class. We sometimes take turns on who is anchor. We read off the teleprompter over there and then as that goes, the slides switch in the back of it. It's just the teleprompter that's not working right now? Yeah, normally we don't ever have issues with this one. Normally we have issues with that computer. You can see the student leadership in that, mm -hmm. for sure. Right. Even when they face that difficulty, they, they're just like, yeah, you got this. All right, well, I'm gonna let y'all get started. Um, I will be here if you have any questions and I'm gonna go check on our group in the studio. That's probably a lot harder than being in a junior class like that. The yeah, mental kids absolutely. And the in-person kids, because it's, it's not really a way that you can do that together easily. She does an awesome job of kind of balancing the two. And I think that she's got some really strong uh, leaders in that group who know exactly what we need them to do. So they're able to get started so that right. she can ensure that her, her virtual kids have their asynchronous assignments. Right. You need to represent all 12 colors, and then your objects must be arranged in the correct color wheel order. You're an in-person student. Obviously, you're not at home to gather all of your objects. Yeah, how's it going? Okay, I okay. guess. Uh, and then Amanda's out, so we took on some of her students. Mm -hmm. And that's what's been really amazing, to be honest with you, is just when we've had days like this, how many teachers have just said, okay, yes, so I've got this group, you take that group. Yeah. And within a, you know, within a few minutes, the team has worked it out. When the classes are a little fuller, how do you um, engage? Just more questioning in that? Over Zoom. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so we do all the synchronous over Zoom, even with the in-person people, and mm -hmm. then, like, they can private chat me. You'd think exactly. part one would be better in person. Mm -hmm in the classroom, but here she's using the virtual to actually access other things for right. kids that, that, that in-person kids don't even have. Kids in person seem to have, be struggling, in, at least in there, a bit more than her virtual kids. She felt like the kids who came back were thinking school was going to be one way, mm -hmm. and it's still a little different for them. Oh, we're going to step in here. Hi. Good morning. So you're going to use your fingertips, and I want to see this notion here. Like money, money, money. <laughs> okay. I met Miss Hutton before. Okay, okay. I met her when I first came to oh. from South Africa. Yes. Uh, uh. So we connected almost immediately. It's <laughs> 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 amazing. Yeah. 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 So, and they're in their kitchens and also the same. Some are in their kitchens them. doing it, some are just, like just watching the demo and then they do an alternative assignment after that. The Africans do the eyes up and it's a great idea. Yeah, and here, they see the My son knows he's in trouble with my son. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. It's incredible to me what, um, just how they're adapting to having to deal with virtual kids and mm -hmm. in-person kids in these kinds of situations where I yeah. think it'd be almost impossible to deal with virtual kids. And, and, and it's interesting when you look at our CTE teachers because most of them have multiple preps. <laughs> I've asked Sean to take us um, to some core classrooms. Uh, we were speaking Afrikaans and um, I was telling her how bad my Afrikaans has become because I don't use it enough, right? Are any of your teammates having, having, having the wall open this period because of teachers being out? We opened the wall next door, mm -hmm. but that's because both of those teachers are out and there's a sub in there. So <laughs> there's one sub taking care of both classrooms? There is. Oh. Thankfully, the the in-person numbers are low for both of those classes and it's such a big yeah, physical so that space works, so yeah. it works okay. Oh, well, that's good. Really um, yeah, and both of those kids, their teachers are thankfully capable of, of working from home so those kids are all joined the Zoom. Okay, that's fine. So each of the teachers is teaching their own classroom yeah. but physically for the kids who are in person we've got them in one big space and a, a, a sub just monitoring more yeah just making sure that yes. they're supervised we really want to see the reality of like yeah how do we make this work yeah and time, so. and sometimes this is you know as as fancy as it gets That's and, the, right. and the walls are just <laughs> right. you know functional so a couple of things struck me about our visit to glenn high school this morning the first is that it doesn't feel like there are 1,100 students back in person in the building. And the second is the adaptability of both our students and our staff in managing 
a very unusual circumstance. I really hope that we take the tools and the opportunities that we've had to learn new skills in this environment and continue to grow on them and use them as we go forward. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.